Welcome everyone. I'm May K. Beeler with Scott Silknetter with Caregiving 101. And Scott, today we're going to talk about music activities. Everybody loves music. They do. And in fact, uh, uh, therapists have used music for things like memory recall or opportunities to create social interaction for years. So at, uh, it, music is just an awesome tool for caregivers to use. Who doesn't like to hear a good tune? Their, sure. their, their feet are tapping along and, and it's fantastic. And if it does that for you, imagine what it does for your loved one. Ah. Right, so not not every family has a therapist can afford a therapist to come to their house, but they have plenty of things to play music on, and and the first thing they need to do is figure out what kind of music their loved one likes, sure. whether it's rock, country, classical, swing, whatever it is. Once you figure that out, look at the tools that you have. A lot of folks may have an old-fashioned tape player. I recognize or that. Boombox, right? Uh, whatever. Boombox. So if it works for you, it, play the music that your loved one enjoyed. Some folks today may have a smartphone that, that, uh, that ha or an MP3 player Absolutely. where you can build a playlist and, and play 10 or 12 of your loved one's favorite songs at the same time. Now, we actually just got this in from the Alzheimer's store. There was research behind this one that it looks like a radio. It's specifically for folks with dementia. There's not a lot of moving parts, so no one can really screw it up. But you lift this lid and music plays automatically. You load, a, you load a playlist in, and they can touch the button to change the music. How easy is that? It's awesome. It is really an unbelievable tool. So if you have arthritis or any types of problems, this is pretty foolproof. Absolutely it is. It Pain is. free. Yes, it is. Great and music. We love the music. Yes, we do. Great yes, we do. Another great idea. Yes. For more tips, log on to caregiving101.com.